Let's study the program that computes Fibonacci numbers. The Fibonacci numbers are a sequence where every number is the sum of the two previous numbers. Here are the first six, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. We start with 0 and 1, and notice how 1 is the sum of 0 and 1, and 2 is the sum of 1 and 1, 3 is the sum of 1 and 2, and 5 is the sum of 2 and 3. In this program, memory cell 1 is going to contain the nth Fibonacci number, memory cell 2 is going to contain the n plus 1 Fibonacci number, and memory cell 3 is going to contain the n plus 2 Fibonacci number. Memory cell 4 is going to track how many Fibonacci numbers we have computed so far, and memory cell 5 is going to tell us when to stop computing the Fibonacci number. Our strategy is to keep Fibonacci numbers in cells 1 and 2. Then we can compute the next Fibonacci numbers by adding the two values and storing the sum in cell number 3. After that, we're going to move the value that was in cell 2 to cell 1, and also move the value that was in cell 3 to cell 2. And we're going to repeat this process by once again taking the value that was in cell 1 and cell 2, adding them, and storing the sum in cell 3. If we repeat this process many times, we can compute the Fibonacci sequence. Now let's examine the instructions. Instruction 0 sets memory cell 1 to 0. Instruction 1 sets memory cell 2 to 1. Instruction 2 sets memory cell 4 to 0. And instruction 3 sets memory cell 5 to 4. Instruction 4 computes the next Fibonacci number by adding the values in cell 1 and cell 2 and storing the sum in cell 3. Instruction 5 copies the value in memory cell 2 to memory cell 1. Instruction 6 copies the value in memory cell 3 to memory cell 2. Instruction 7 increments the count by 1. Instruction 8 compares the value in memory cell 4 and memory cell 5, and if they are equal, it will skip instruction number 9 and finish the program. If memory cells 4 and 5 are not equal, then the computer runs instruction number 9, which will jump back to instruction number 4. Memory cell 4 is initially 0, and memory cell 5 is 4 and memory cell 4 is incremented by 1 in each iteration of the loop. Therefore, the program will loop 4 times before memory cell 4 becomes equal to memory cell 5. Now let's run the program. The computer first runs instruction 0, 1, 2, and 3. And at this point, all the memory cell values have been initialized. When instruction 4 runs, the computer takes the value in memory cell 1 and memory cell 2, adds them, and stores the result in memory cell 3. Instruction 5 is going to copy value in cell number 2 to cell number 1. And instruction 6 is going to copy the value from cell number 3 to cell number 2. Instruction 7 increments the count by 1. Instruction 8 compares memory cells 4 and 5, and since they are not equal, the computer will move on to instruction 9, which simply jumps back to instruction number 4. Now we're ready to compute the next Fibonacci number. The computer adds the values in memory cells 1 and 2, and stores the sum in memory cell 3. Then it copies cell number 2 to cell number 1, and copy cell number 3 to cell number 2. It once again increments the count, and since cell 4 and cell 5 are still not equal, the computer once again goes to instruction 9, which jumps back to instruction 4, and we begin another cycle. The next Fibonacci number is computed by adding numbers 1 and 2, then the computer copies the value in cell number 2 to cell number 1, and then the value in cell number 3 to cell number 2, so that the computer can add them again in the next iteration. Next, the computer increments the count, 
and cell number 4 is still not equal to cell number 5. So the computer once again jumps back to instruction number 4. Instruction 4 computes the next Fibonacci number, which is 5. Instruction 5 copies the value in cell 2 to cell 1. Instruction 6 copies the value in cell 3 to cell 2. The count is once again incremented. And at this point, the value in cell number 4 is equal to the value in cell number 5. So the computer is going to skip instruction 9 and finish. If we want to compute even more Fibonacci numbers, we can change instruction number 3. We can change 4 to, let's say, 7. And if we run the computer to completion, notice how cell number 3 contains 21. 